If I can interrupt everyone's lunch real quick, um, we just wanted to do a quick shout out to uh, some of our sponsors. And right now, our convention lunch sponsor is ETT Aviation. And I have the pleasure of introducing the president, uh, Tom LaJoy of ETT. Thank you. It's actually Le Joie, oui, oui. That's quite all right. Um, so first of all, I uh, want to thank you all for uh, coming and um, tell you about a, um, a, a couple pins that we are going to uh, raffle off. Uh, well, basically donate. And all I need is a business card. Um, so um, Dave, my partner in crime, is going to collect um, uh, business cards. If you just throw them on the table, um, Dave will, will come by. Um, but anyway, the, um, these pens are handcrafted by one of our uh, developers, and they're, they're in the uh, airline motif. Uh, well, some of them are jet aircraft, and then some of them are propeller. So um, we're going to uh, give these away. So please throw your card on the business table and, and come see me if um, you want to chat about anything related to flight and crew management or maintenance and MRO scheduling or uh, flight planning or maybe even drone operations filing into the uh, LANT system. We cover a wide range of uh, capabilities that an air operation needs to, um, to run its operation, like uh, you know, pilot flight time and, and uh, duty tracking, uh, the training tracking, crew pay. Do you pay your pilots? Are they uh, anything other than, other than um, salaried? Because if, if so, if you're paying them hourly or anything like that, I guarantee you're overpaying them. And I guarantee that we can help you curtail that by automating your, uh, your crew pay uh, process. So. Anyway, um, uh, again, we have a whole host of capabilities for operations under 135, 121, 117, uh, 107, even 108 for, uh, for new BV loss. So uh, please uh, come and talk to us. We're in the uh, far spot uh, over there, and uh, I'd love to tell you more. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tom, and thank you again for being a convention sponsor. Um, and then real quick, I'm going to introduce uh, our team from Alaska Excel. We've got Jamie here, Kate, and o Oli, right? Yeah. And uh, they're going to tell you about Alaska Excel, and this was something that Will and I were really excited to include in the convention this year, because this is how we get more young pilots in Alaska. So please give them your, their, their, your full attention, and I'll pass it over to Jamie. Hello. So again, my name is Jamie. Um, I grew up in the northern part of the state in a little place called Bettles. If you guys have flown Part 91 or 135, you may have been through there. Grew up right on the runway and learned how to fly at a young age and decided I wanted to share that with other people that maybe didn't have mentors or um, didn't have the advantage of growing up in the aviation industry. It's a lot harder to get into if you don't have someone that you know or it doesn't feel accessible, right? Um, so segue, I met Alaska Excel about five, six years ago and started an aviation program with a local nonprofit that's located here in Anchorage. Um, Alaska Excel's partnered with 13 different rural school districts. So our students come in from all over Alaska to take our aviation programs. And to my right is Kate. <laughs> Uh, my name's Kate. I'm uh, one of the uh, flight instructors, ground instructors. Generally, uh, I show up and put on whatever hat we need to uh, to take care of whatever class or course we're um, we're giving at any given time. Um, I used to fly for a little company called Ace Air Cargo. Maybe you've heard of that one. Hey, Steve. <laughs> um, but uh, the the main focus of my aviation life has been working with Excel and uh, working with these young people. And oh. Hello, I'm Oli, I'm from Mountain Village. Uh, came to the Excel program looking for a driver's license, walked out with a private pilot's license. <laughs> that was about four years ago. Now I'm a commercial pilot with a multi-engine rating, and I do ground instructing over at uh, Alaska Excel building at the hangar in Merrill Field. 
So when I developed the aviation program, a big part of my vision was to have the students become instructors. And so I finally got to see that vision come true this year as Oli steps into a leadership role and is actually um, teaching the students on the simulator. And we have entry level um, job courses. So he's been teaching like the ramper positions and the fueling. Um, a lot of our students may not become pilots or mechanics. They might become some of the support team, right? We do focus on piloting and mechanics because that's the instructors we have available and that's kind of how we get the kids hooked into aviation. But we also um, encourage them to go into all the different types of jobs available in the career field. Um, that being said, we have a couple videos that highlight our program um, that we're gonna play now. This is the aviation maintenance strand video. I want to be a mechanic so I can help not just my town but anywhere else that I'm at. This was my first time in mechanics. I've learned a lot. I decided to pick this course to become a more well-rounded aviation pilot. If you broke down or got stuck somewhere, it's good to know to, how to work on your plane. I can have a secure future and Excel helps me with that. I would recommend it because once you get into it, you like learn more and more. It's really interesting and it's pretty fun. I could see myself working as an AAP mechanic and as a pilot. It would be awesome for me to see me in the skies or down here working on an engine. I learned the details about how engines work. In the small town of Pointo, there's a lot of engines to work on, and it would be good to know how to fix them, just to support the community. All right, this next video uh, focuses on our piloting classes. Mixture for rich. Check. When I first went into the plane, I, I loved it. I love everything about that. Check. Check. It's always been my dream since I was 10, nine years old. I wanted to do the aviation class because ever since I was a little kid, I always like looking at the planes flying over the village. We've been flying, learning about charting courses, weight and balance, the components of lift, flying. It just feels so cool. It's really nice getting to feel the controls of the plane and how it feels, because you learn a lot better at the controls than you do just studying by the books. And so getting to feel that feels really amazing. Excel is a great opportunity for me to reach my goals and accomplish my future. Definitely do it, because it'll definitely help. It's real fun flying. To be in the air, you have all the views. It is amazing. All right, so just to give you a short overview, we do a lot of introductory courses. So to get the students involved and start to feel comfortable in these spaces as far as the vocabulary goes. Um, we have a lot of industry partners. We have a good partnership with Ryanair and Grant Aviation. Um, we even, some of the smaller operations like Spurnax, um, Alaska Air Transit. You guys saw Alaska Airlines up there. We get there when we can. Um, and so th that's really important so that the students feel comfortable in those spaces and applying for those jobs and, um, and know uh, what it would be like to work there, because uh, that's a big barrier, I think, getting into the aviation industry. Um, what makes it all possible is that at Alaska Excel, we have foundational um, classes. So those are life skills classes. So how many of you in this room have actually been out to rural and in the rural communities? Raise your hand. It's not too bad. All right. So as you know, there's no DMV there. There's no bank, right? And so as Oli said, he came in for a driver's license and then had this opportunity to become a pilot. Um, but literally, he just wanted to have his driver's license, open a bank account, do the, some of the basic things that you can't do in the village. Um, so that's why we focus on rural um, and not urban is because a lot of those opportunities aren't available. Um, I also start every class making sure that our students know how important it is um, for them to have a seat at the table as a rural Alaskan relying upon transportation for everything they have, whether that's heating oil, medical, um, their groceries or Amazon packages. Um, so really involving our rural Alaskan communities who don't leave either. We've done um, surveys and 70% of our students are staying in rural um, after they graduate and taking these skills home with them that, you know, working out of Bethel or working at some of the larger hubs. Um, 
And so what industry can do is that we are um, always looking for more partners. We're always looking, even if that's just a tour, even if that's just you coming to our aviation facility at Merrill Field to introduce yourself to our students um, and beyond because we have a lot of paid internships um, where the students will be placed in the summer months and have their first job on their resume. Um, and that is our program, Alaska Excel. Come see our booth. We're right out here. We've got lots of brochures and business cards. Anything you guys want to add? Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you to Alaska Excel for being here. They've also been huge volunteers for us. Kate and Noah yesterday were a huge help in helping us get this place set up, so uh, we appreciate Alaska Excel, so please go see them if you're interested in partnering. We've got about 20 more minutes uh, for lunch, so enjoy, and then we'll get started back at 1. Okay, I'll just avoid the hole so you sleep fine. I'm driving here, I sit, cursing my government for not using my taxes to fill holes with more cement. You fell asleep in my car, I drove the whole time. But that's okay, I'll just avoid the hole so you sleep fine. I'm driving here, I sit, cursing my government. 